In today's video, I'm going to Walmart to search for the new monster boxes that just released. All right, guys, we're back at Walmart. I got a message from Ty on Instagram saying, yo, they have the new chaos. Wait, was it chaos boxes? Monster boxes. Monster boxes are out. So we haven't had a monster box in a while. I usually love the monster boxes, so I'm pretty excited. But it is the holiday season. And while there is Christmas cheer, there's way too many people at this Walmart right now. So I feel like the chances we actually find one are pretty low, but I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna look for you guys. If not, we're gonna go to another Walmart. Probably not gonna find it there, but wish me luck. We're here at Walmart. We're trying to pick up the new mystery box, huh? Huh? <laughs> we have hit orbit. Let's go. We also have some of these, which I probably need to pick up while I'm here. Grab a couple more of those. More of these pieces of crap. Classic. What is this? Oh, Valiant Smashers. That looks different for some reason. Speed Duel. I think there's a new Speed Duel set coming out in a couple months. Uh? Uh? Maybe? Probably not. New release. That is, uh, <laughs> excuse me? Huh? Not new. Looks like they have a deal on structure decks, though. I mean, not that we don't have this one a million times, but... That's cool, I guess. They're all the same, so nothing too special. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart, and uh, yeah, I got three of these monster boxes. They were, weirdly, I noticed, one cent less than the holiday mystery boxes. So it seems like they're trying to undercut the other boxes. Let's see if they're made by somebody else. Are they made by not MJ Holding? It is, so why are they less? It's kind of weird that they're a cent less. I'm not really sure. So so I did grab three of these. One will be a giveaway. So if you guys want to win one of these sealed, all you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item out of these. And do you think these are worth it or not? I'm already a little skeptical based off what I'm seeing because Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 is on there, but there is some cool stuff. Like, I mean, 2022 is not bad. Eldorado is pretty good. So I guess they could be okay. I usually really like the monster boxes, so I'm hoping these are nice. Okay, so we have two to open today. Let's see what it looks like there's going to be. Battles of Chaos is cool. Rising Rampage, that's cool. Dawn of Majesty, that's pretty good. Brothers of Legend, I don't like that. Uh, I don't really like that. That's okay. That's okay. So that's kind of normal for them. Okay, it's only eight this time, though. Didn't they used to be nine or ten in the originals? Though, they might have been more expensive back then. I'm not totally sure the red monster boxes. I think they had nine plus a bonus pack. This only seems to have eight, so it seems like the value might have gone down in these. If I remember correctly, I think it was nine to ten packs in the previous one, and I thought they were 30 as well, so that's pretty interesting. I guess they do have a uh, one of these big, like, thicker packs that might be worth a little bit more, like, MSRP. So, I don't know. Let's open this thing up. Let's see if we get these same packs on the back every time or what. I'm not totally sure. There's no sort of mystery with these. That's kind of the case with Monster. The, the Monster boxes. Usually, there's not a ton of mystery. It's a lot of the same packs every time. Which is good and bad. If they're good packs, it's good. If they're bad packs, it's not. Okay, let's open this one up first. We have Monster Box. Um, we're gonna have 16 packs to open today, it seems. I thought there was gonna be more in here. I mean, it says it right there, but I didn't even really look at it when I was doing the vlog. I was just focusing in that we, oh, we found them, yay, okay. And let's start off, first pack that falls out is an Eldorado pack, so that's actually pretty solid. Though people don't really love the Gold Series or the Maximum Gold Series, I should say. Uh, this is a pretty decent set. There's a lot of good cards in here. I think the Access Code Talker's in this one. We have a uh, Micro Coder, speaking of, uh, codes we have the rescue cat fossil dig super dreadnought real cannon juggernaut lame and a raigeki is some good cards win the wind charmer not channeler charmer and a neuron network all right not a bad first pack let's see if this next one can follow it two of the same pack i was not expecting that okay two maximum gold eldorado sure i mean that could be worse i guess Solomon Great Al Mirage, Ruxin Special, right past the Ancient Gear Fusion. Prime Math Mech Alimbertion. That was a pretty good card in the Math Mech deck for a little bit. Rocket Ride played a little bit on Master Duel. Scrap Golem, Cursed Eldland, and the Prank Kids, Roxies. All right. Is, is there going to be something besides Elder? What? We get a, a die too? Wait, which one is this? I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what that is. 
What is that die? I'm not totally sure where to come from. Also, it says eight, eight assorted booster packs from some of your favorite sets. So why is there a die in there? It doesn't say anything about a die anywhere. There's just a random die in there. Is that normal? I'm not totally sure. Okay, let's see what's up next. Uh, okay, Hidden Arsenal. Maybe that came from Hidden Arsenal and they just threw the die in there as well. Maybe not totally sure. That's kind of weird. Let's see. Okay, we got some peeking out over there. Okay, a lot of cards in here. Not a lot worth much in this set. Let's see if there's anything cool at least. Ally of Justice stuff, Miss Valley, Ruxin Special. We have Shining Flare Wingman. That's pretty cool. I mean, you can't can't deny that. Polymerization alternate art. I bet that's not a bad card, actually. Ultra dual terminal, whatever. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. I mean, honestly, good cards in the uh dual terminal slots. And then Trishula. That feels like a good pack. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that feels like a great pack. Naturia Vein. That is that's pretty weird. The Naturia Vein. Fabled, Leo Drake. Fabled and Naturia. Okay, so a lot of consistency. I guess it is from Hidden Arsenal, so those are some Hidden Arsenal archetypes. What is next? So pretty interesting, so... Two Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. Really? 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 I'm not really loving these so far with the Hidden Arsenal popping out. That's not great. Flambell, Dragonov, Shaman, Dudark. Ally, okay, Ally of Justice Field Marshal. Now we're really seeing the, the pain that it can be. Naturia <laughs> Extero. I feel like that's a good card for some reason. Is that the cover card, maybe? I'm not, of something. Uh, Naturia Cherries. That is a pretty cool looking card. Bamboo Shoot. That used to be worth money in the original print. And thinking D-Rev, Dulce Revolution. But I'm guessing not now that it's in there. So interesting that there was two of the same pack twice okay next one what in the world do we have a, an error box or something we are not getting any variety we don't have any of these we've got three Eldorado. <laughs> i think we might have an error box or something i think we have a monster box that that has something going on with it we have micro coder i don't think this is supposed to be happening patch of cephalo scrap dragon cyber's gadget one of my favorite cards from El Dorado, the alternate art Red Eyes Black Dragon. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it's gradable. Probably not because it's from El Dorado. Centering's horrible. Yeah, unfortunately not. I do want to get that card to PSA 10 at some point. That'd be sweet. All right, if we get another maximum gold or, or hidden arsenal, I'm going to lose it. What is this? Oh, the promo card. So they just took these hidden arsenal things and they just threw it all in there. So you basically get... That's actually good that you get the promo, though. That makes it a little better because the promos are probably the best part. Pile Arm Dragon. I, I don't even remember seeing this card. I didn't open a lot of Hidden Arsenal, so that could be why. Okay, I didn't know you were going to get the promo. That's nice. What else is in here? This is such a weird opening. Something that's not Hidden Arsenal or Maximum Gold or Maximum Gold Eldorado. Dimension Force. Probably it's not even on the back. This isn't even on the... <laughs> the ones displayed. Interesting. Okay, we still haven't hit any of those on the back except Hidden Arsenal. Symphonic Warrior. Titanomachi. Omega Judgment. Triantis. Pendulum Scale. Excursion. Heroic Challenger. Parasomnia Pillow. There you go, Simo. An Odd Eyes Winged Dragon. That is a hollow card. That is, I mean, guaranteed, so not crazy. All right, what else is there in here? I have no idea what to expect. Lightning Overdrive. Black Rose. I will call you the best monster or mystery box of all time monster box if you give us a black rose starlight. We have you and I, Hidden Springs, Terrors, AI Meet You, World Soul, Scrap Raptor, Springins, Paleozoic Camera Roaster, and not a black rose dragon, unfortunately. Okay, Power of the Elements, Unlimited, come on! They actually did that stupid Unlimited run with this set. We get an Unlimited, oh, that's a bummer. Why is this pack so... It's a fat pack, guys. Not body shaming the packs, but this is a, certainly a fat pack for some reason. One, two, three. If we get like a unlimited starlight, <laughs> like the only ones in existence, to be fair, rarer than first dead because they only exist in this set. Venus Lift, Gadget, Scar, Crosskeeper, Albaz the Ash, and unlimited cards. This is just weird. I, I don't like this. Okay, I think that's it. That was that was weird. That was a really that was weird. All that whole box was weird. I think this second box will be telling. Like, is, is this what they're always like? Are we always gonna get like multiples of the same packs, or was that just a weird box? I thought for a second we only had those two packs in there, just like over and over. That would have been weird. And I didn't really count the packs. We did get the promo and the die additional, which is good, I guess, because I wasn't expecting it. It doesn't say you get it on the side, so a little bit of a bonus. Okay, let's flip this over like this. These packs are falling out. Let's start with Dimension Force, okay? 
Same thing we got before. Nothing to worry about. One, two, three, four. We're getting the same. As I said, pretty consistent. Colonel on the C string. Reverse jar. Backup team. Ice Shade Curse. Scareclaw Acro. Heroic Challenger. Morning Star. Print a plant. Buys Blisp. Heroic Challenger. Knuckle Sword. And Chow Sai, the Ghost Stopper. A little retrain of what was his name? He was a Duel Links guy. It was Chow something. I don't remember what it was. Let's see what the next pack is. This feels like Hidden Arsenal. Oh my goodness. We're back at it. Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. Stinkiest set of 2022, right? Wasn't it 2022? It was, I think. Yeah, it was It was pretty stinky. Uh, Caravan of the Ice Barrier. We have a Fabled Grimro. Skill Drain. Okay, that used to be the big card. Nichuria Beast. Okay, not bad. Honestly, we got some good ones of whatever you call that, the dual terminal rarity. On our three packs, we probably got another one here knowing knowing these boxes. Okay, we have Lightning Overdrive. One more chance at that Black Rose first edition Starlight. Come on, baby. Let's do this. We have War Rock Big Blow. AI hey, challenge you. Fuku Biki. We have the Rapid Racing, Denmari, Zexel, Spring its Booty, Clock Arc, and Tri Brigade, Bear Brum, the Rampant Rampager. All right, I don't think we're doing too good on our value right now in terms of making our money back, but maybe that skill drain helps. It's probably like three or four bucks. Maximum gold Eldorado. It's a 60 total cost, so I think we could still do it. Let's get that, um, what's he called? The Access Code Talker. I don't know what he's worth these days out of the gold series. Invocation's pretty good. We have Prank It's Bow Wow Bark. Urgent Schedule is a pretty good card. And Scrap Chimera, Prank It's Pandemonium. All right, more Maximum Gold Eldorado. That seems pretty consistent so far. All right, a couple more packs. We got another Eldorado. This is so weird that we're getting doubles in the same pack. I don't know how I feel about it. Scrap Wyvern, Rainbow Neos, come on. Fossil Dyna, Pachycephalo, pretty uh, fun card in quotations. Lambda, Tempest Dragon, Ruler of Storms. There we go, Progression Series 2. And Area of the Water Charmer. Couple packs left. Come on. So far, a lot of the same stuff. Okay, Pote Unlimited. It's been all exactly the same so far. We have yet to yet to have any variants, which I, I, I say this normally with regular mystery boxes too. If you buy from the same like Walmart or location, they tend to be the exact same packs or at least very similar. Terrors of the Overroot, Double Dust Tornado Twin, Seafront, Deepest Depths, Branded Expulsion, Venus Lift, Digi Jamming. And Venus Lift Corolla. Venus Lift, not Venus Lift. I always want to see Venus Lift. Still time left. Still time to pull something crazy, like a hidden arsenal chapter one pack. Woo! All right. Heck yeah. We got hidden arsenal chapter one. Go Yo Guard. It's not a bad card to have, actually. Go Yo Guardian. We have a Naturia White Oak. Polymerization, another good one. Dark Magician. Okay, and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Honestly, it's about as good as you're going to pull. Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, though, they don't really fit in this set. They just don't feel like they should be in this set. It's really weird. What are we down to? Okay, we do have the promo, I feel like. Maybe. If it's stuck, it's stuck on this pack. So, oop. We have a Deep Sea Repetur. Okay, we got that. No die this time. Didn't get a die. Feel like I got gypped. Okay, final pack, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video and you want to see more Walmart mystery boxes when they come out, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we'll be doing them. Hopefully something good here. Eldorado. So basically what they're doing is they're pulling out a mini box of Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. They're putting everything in there. Look, they forgot the die that time. The promo, the two packs, uh, the die sometimes. Then they're grabbing a mini box of Eldorado. Well, they're putting three. They're putting three out of four. Or is there three in Eldorado? I'm not sure. And just throwing it in there. So they're just repackaging a lot of things, which, I mean, it makes sense that they're doing it. We have Prank It's Dropsies, Scrap Dragon, Far Formation 10 Key, and Tempest again. Okay, so uh, overall, I used, I loved the previous Monster Box iteration. I definitely don't like these as much. It feels a lot more junky. Like, Maximum Gold Eldorado is okay. Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 is not. It's not good. It's not very good. And then the other packs, like, Pote is great, but then it's unlimited. So they can't even get the good one of that. Before, we were getting, like, Duelist Alliance in there and some really cool packs like that. Like, going back to 2014, 2015 era. Shining Victories, I think, was in there 2016. Bosch, stuff like that. This just feels like... Mm. I'm not a huge fan of these, so probably not going to like these as much as the previous Monster Box if you do buy these. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Taisho, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.